It's really cold today in Wuzhen, <laughs> but we're leaving here. And apparently the locals are telling us that this looks like a snowy day. So it hasn't snowed yet, but it might start. So we just bought some um, Xiaobing, which is baked, oven baked cake. It's baked straight from these uh, stone ovens. This is what kind of Oh, yes, stone. We're gonna taste it and see how good it is. Yum, I hope. So I'm eating this Xiaobing that we just ate. Really hot, really great. Thin, has sesame on it. Black. Hold on. We sometimes we eat this for breakfast too. So if you see it here in Wuzhen, you might want to give it a shot. Located in the northern Zhejiang province of China, Wuzhen. AKA Watertown is one of the most popular destinations among Chinese locals and international travelers looking for a well-kept, charming, vintage setting. Oh look, here's a tea salon selling plum tea. It's very sweet, it's very good, especially when it's so cold at night. This is perfect for heating up the body and um, going down with the xiaobing, the pancake that we just bought. Um, the lady that works here just said that um, she actually uses a bunch of these. Brews them in water for hours and they become tea. We're gonna talk to her, give me a sec. This is what? The owner just gave me a piece of um, chen pi. Chen pi is what? Orange, skin of orange, and now shai gan ma. Marinate it and then dry it. It's extremely salty. Like It's really yummy actually. I grew up eating this too. The town is separated in six areas by workshops, food and beverage, traditional culture, shops and boutiques, water township, and traditional local style dwelling houses. There is even an outdoor theater. Seriously, you just don't see this nowadays. Hey guys, it's really cool because to get Wi-Fi here, because the entire city actually has free Wi-Fi, but you have to get your password at these uh, tourist centers. Um, that kind of looks like this. Hold on a sec. You get your passport. Mine is over there. So now we have Wi-Fi right here. I just told this guy that he gave me air because I need Wi-Fi all the time, meaning Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and everything. Yeah. See ya. Travelers coming to Wuzhen need to stay at least one night in this gorgeous town to stroll through the bridges and wanderlust through ancient-like alleys. Yes, I just used that overused, cheesy, popular word, wonderlust. Hey, at least it didn't come with a hashtag. I just love umbrellas so much. So you look at this, and everything is handmade. What is it? It's So it's oil, paper, umbrellas, and you can use it during the rain and uh, in the sun. So it can be used as a sun umbrella and a rain umbrella. <laughs> and everything's handmade, so it's uh, literally painted by like artists. And everything has like Chinese writing on it. These traditional umbrellas can also be seen in Japan, Vietnam, Taiwan, Thailand, and Laos. In some Chinese weddings, red umbrellas are used to cover the bride's face to protect her from evil spirits. Elders love purple umbrellas symbolizing long life, and white umbrellas are used during funerals. When you're a big city girl like me, a few days of throwback in a town like Wuzhen does the spirit real good. There's something authentically fantastic about watching women making silk blankets on the side of an alley. This is the real deal. 
So these ladies here are making silk blankets that really keep warm for winter time. And how many layers that they layer on is based on how many kilos of blanket that you buy. They do this all by hand, and it's a specialty here in Wuzhen.